Hey, it's Sam here. Welcome to this demo of ClickKosh. This allows you to be able to create shoppable images that you could post on your website. Here's an example right here on my page here. I've taken a photo of me just standing there in a variety of clothes and I've made every item on me shoppable. So if I click on this beanie, you can see we have an option to view this beanie by clicking view online and I can buy this, okay? So I've done this with all the items of clothing within this. I've got the uh, hoodie, I've got the leather jacket, I've got the pants as well. So all of this sorts of stuff, you can turn into shoppable items. Now you could do this within your store, within your website, and have it link off to items within your store or Amazon affiliate links or where whatever sort of link will sell that item for you and you will make the money on, okay? So it makes your images easily shoppable. Creating this was very, very simple. It's within the software called ClickKosh. So let's actually walk through and see how to do it right from the start. So I'm going to take us right back to the beginning. So in here, you can hook up your own custom domain uh, to be able to host your images on as well. However, let's jump into the images section and we can add from Pixabay or your own designs from Newsign or Designo Pro 2, which recently launched. Okay, or you can just add your own new one. So I'm going to click add new. Now within the add new section, I can select what domain I want it to go on. So I'm just going to use the demo domain they've supplied here. You can click upload here and you can choose your image. So I'm going to choose that exact same image I just showed you so I can show you how easy it is to do. Now, once I've got that, I just click next and it brings up this image. Okay, so from here, all I have to do is click on the items I want to sell. So I'm going to, I'm going to start with the beanie, I click there. I click on the plus button and it comes up with product name. So I'm going to go over to the website, copy this link here, and I'm going to jump back in here and just say, oh, this beanie. Product price, I know that's $49, and I'm going to put the URL in there and just close it. Now you can see it's black. So what I can do is I can change the background color of this item to be, let's just make it pink. Okay, and then I can make the icon the plus button. I can make that any color I want, say a gray, say a blue, uh, so red, we'll see what sticks out. Probably just better to keep it white, to be honest. Okay, we can also change the size. We can make them bigger. We can make them smaller. Uh, so I'm going to keep it about like the standard size it was. Uh, also, yeah, you can just change all the, all the sorts of items within there as well. Okay, so within this, you can have like plus buttons. You can have options to have it like as a link inbox, you know, all these sorts of different things. We're just going to keep it as the plus button. Now, all I need to do is populate it with uh, more Details, so I'm going to click and it adds the icon. I click on it again and I just write President Hoodie. I go over here, copy the link. Obviously, this would be a link to something in your own store or an affiliate link. And I'm going to paste that in there and click close. Leave the jacket, go over, grab this link. Again, you can see how quickly I'm building out this image. I'm just going to write in a leather jacket. Product price, $199 and just paste the link in there and click done. Same with the pants, do exactly the same. Product price 45, I think it was. Go over, grab these, put it in and it's done. So our clickable image is ready to go. Now, if I click on preview here, you can see if I click this, the Chino pants, We've got the, the president hoodie, we've got the leather jacket. Obviously, you would go, go through and edit to make sure it all displays nicely. Uh, that's the whole point of this whole preview bit, to make sure our text and things all line up, make it all good as well. And it is all good to go from there. Once we've done this, we just simply click Save. Obviously, you click the links, the test to make sure that they're, they're working as well, but we just click Save. Cool, so now it's all uploaded. We can see the image here. To paste that into my website, all I need to do is click on this little I button and I get an iframe code. So I can paste this directly into my WordPress site. I could paste this into my website wherever I want this image to be and it will fully work as a clickable image like we saw at the start of this video.